Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, from time to time, we do travel around the country to help homeowners with their uh, drainage problems, especially when they have estimates of eight to ten thousand in for something that should only be half of that cost. And this job's in Dayton, Ohio. It's frozen solid outside. The homeowner could not find anybody to help him. So we decided we'd come up there and we'll definitely solve this problem. We're also going to address the freezing issue. A lot of questions about what do you do when the line freezes. Take a look. So you can see there's poured walls on this crawl space and that's great, but you can also see the high water mark. That's how high the water has been flooding. And for some reason, the builders did not put uh, a core, in other words, a place for that water to discharge. They kind of expected it to go through the ground. But as you take a look at us digging this hole for the sump basin, you'll see how hard this clay is. And that water, just it can't perk down. It has no place to go. So we dig out the basin for the, the hole for the basin and also create a small footer tile. That's the pipe that brings the water from along the wall into the basin. That is such a tough soil. Look at this. They actually broke the shovel. I mean, it is really rock hard. There's no way for that water to escape. So a sump pump is definitely needed um, to do this. We set the pump up the day before, and you can watch that video um, also. It's up here as well. Let's go ahead and keep digging and get this done. We have to jump on that shovel to get that down in there. Set your basin down in the hole, and then you set your pump down inside the basin. Pretty simple. We're going to put the lid on here because as we backfill, we don't want any dirt to come down inside there. Very straightforward job, something that you guys could do yourself, especially with this much headroom. Um, it takes a little bit of effort because you definitely, you know, this is hard clay, and it is frozen outside, and we're going to show you that too. So... Finish up, you know, just a little bit on that footer tile. We need to get that water to come down that wall and into the basin. And then we backfill. And you can see we're cleaning off the other side of that wall as well because we need, this is the low point of the crawl space where all the water collects. He did not want to do the perimeter tile, which was recommended, but it's okay. This is going to take the bulk of that water out and he'll be dry, dry, dry. So let's go ahead and finish this up, backfilling. Now let's go outside. And you can see it's frozen solid out here. We're using a Bosch hammer drill um, to core through that brick to get inside. I've speeded up the video, but just because it's so cold out there, we, you can see the wind blowing. It's quite, it's frozen solid outside. Once you get a nice clean hole down through there, then you can slide your pipe through the wall. And now we're going to plumb the check valve. Remember that check valve only allows water to flow one way, so you got to get that correct. Once we have our riser and the pipe through the wall, simple connection, simple 90. We're using a, a PVC cement that is two in one. In other words, it has a primer and a glue built in. Simply spread that glue, glue around your fittings and push it together. Remember to hold it for just a second because it does because it's slippery, it tries to push itself out. Once it sets, it's very permanent. Now let's go ahead and tighten up that check valve. Remember, the check valve has arrows or some kind of marking to show you the direction of water flow. Tighten those up and you're good to go. Plug your pump into a GFI You'll have to have that installed. We're going to leave him an extension cord for temporary power. Now look outside again, and you can see how this is set up for the freeze. So what we've done is we've installed a T with a clean-out. So if that line freezes, you simply unscrew the clean-out and let that water come out. Remember, if you live in a place where the frost and freeze is a problem, you do run that risk of it freezing. Although it doesn't happen often, it can happen. And this is how you solve that problem. Remember, this line's going out to the street. Um, some uh, municipalities today, they've come up with better solutions where they do put 
you know, require you to put this into the storm drain. Most places are still going out to the front yard or to the street. And if that line freezes, you simply unscrew the clean out and let that water come out. After it thaws, you put it back on. It's just that simple. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.